Matt Rickey. I've been a police officer for about 15 years now for a major Orange County agency. I've been assigned to the SWAT team as an assistant team leader for nine years, also as a medic for seven years. Um, during that time, I've been fortunate enough to go to several uh, medical classes, including military classes, currently teach uh, a class for law enforcement on the uh, TCCC aspects. Um, over the course of teaching that class, we've run through multiple different pouches on the ones that we've assigned and issued out. Um, one of the main things that I've seen with that pouch is its size. Um, I know that with my kit, I'm trying to be slim, slim everything down. So what I did is I took the attributes of all the different kits that I've seen, put it into one kit, and been able to slim it down. So your standard medical pouch like this, you know, anywhere from three to four inches, especially when you put all the gear into it. I think this one probably cuts it in half to about two inches by the time you get all the gear into it. So this is the, the compact medical pouch. comes in two different versions. One is your standard molly that you can attach to any vest. Um, the other version is a leg drop pouch. So the compact medical pouch, like I said, molly on the back, um, opens up your standard pouch. In there you got elastic, allow you to hold your tourniquets, your gauze, your quick clot, um, any of the items that you need. It's also got this interior pouch that allow you to put in your uh, chest seals, uh, any other flat items that you have, medical cards, anything like that. On the back of it, if you notice, it does have two little openings and that's where you can put either a rescue hook or scissors into it. Um, if you really did want to, you could also attach this standard to a belt without having to let the uh, leg drop. Uh, the other version is the leg drop version, so it comes with a detachable uh, clip, so you can attach this to your belt, leave it attached to your belt at all times, so if you constantly keep this in your car next to you or, or in a bag, this will always be on your belt. You're going into an environment where you think you're going to need this, grab this out, clip it in your belt, and you got it on you. So same thing, same exact version as the other one, it just has the leg drop, comes with a, uh, a strap to attach to the leg. Like I said, the main thing that we're doing with this is we're making it compact, shrinking it down so you're not bumping into doorways, you're not bumping into your buddy, um, and it's just a slim version of the standard medical.